So with that, um, just a quick reminder of how this rollout is going to work nationally and in Utah. We're now in phase 1A, which is healthcare personnel and long-term care facility residents. And the numbers here are there are about 130,000 healthcare practitioners, um, healthcare personnel defined broadly in the state of Utah and about 28,000 long-term care facility residents. We anticipate getting about 150 to 160,000 doses by the end of December. So theoretically, there should be enough vaccine uh, to give the first dose to everyone in phase 1A. Phase 1B are essential workers, uh, and that definition can be a little bit controversial, and that's being decided on a state-by-state -state basis. In Utah, the numbers are about 160,000 essential workers, 94,000 teachers, 14,000 first responders. And you can see that we're going to need more vaccine to get into this group. So that's looking like a January, February timeframe. And then phase 1C are those at higher risk because of medical conditions or because of age. That's about 650,000 people. So we're going to need more vaccine to get there. Lots of unanswered but critical questions. How long does uh, immunity last? What are the correlates of protection? Um, does the vaccine protect you against getting asymptomatically infected and having ongoing transmission? Uh, we don't know the answer to any of these questions yet, but I don't think we're going to have to wait too terribly long.